everyone. I am Linda, Linda's Rocky Mountain Vines, and I am back with another uh, haul video. And this is my cat Merlin, my monster cat. And he's looking for his dinner, but it's a little too early. So off he goes. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. I uh, want to do a quick, quick haul video on what I picked up today. Uh, there were a bunch of community sales <clears throat> in my area, all within like three, four miles. So I hit, uh, I hit them and uh, spent I think, a total of $120. And most of that I will get back with uh, one item, at least if he, I haven't tested them yet, but picked up a, this is the Disney Store exclusive wall E. Now, this is the 9 inch. There's a smaller uh, version where he's yellow um, that I've sold before that does really well too. If you ever see these wallies and get them at a, a decent price, pick them up. This comes with a remote, so he's animated remote control. I, I haven't tested them yet, but I only paid $5 for them. And um, the remote, a remote recently sold without the antenna. So the antenna was broken off, and it sold for 50 bucks at best offer. Um, so I know I can get at least 100 it, Even if he ends up not working, if I can get, you know, 50 60 bucks for the remote alone, it's worth the $5 I paid. And then also, you can also, if you get one that's not working, you can like part out the, the, the tire tracks. People need those as replacements and stuff. So anyway, he's a bit dusty. We'll see if he works. Um, assuming he does work, it should bring at least 100 easy. So they'll pay for everything I picked up today. So, and at the same sale that I got him at, I got a um, about 40 uh games playstation one playstation two and xbox games um i spent forty dollars on all the games um i've kind of gone through them all pick out the ones that aren't worth selling on their own and i pulled out the ones that are worth selling on their own ended up getting a bunch of playstation one crash games um i've not ever played these games but um i do recognize the name and uh, knew that they had some value so i started scanning them or looking them up um i got a crash uh warped and some of them i have the, the you know they come either partly in the case like this one doesn't have the uh, the main booklet so basically would be sold disc only um, this is a decent one, 102 Dalmatians, PlayStation 1, the black label. Um, all these ones I'm showing were bringing anywhere from $15 um, up to, I think some of them are $30, $40, maybe even $50. And I paid $40 for all of the, the CDs. This is a Crash Bash. And another Crash uh, Warped. The same one. This is a different version, both for the original PlayStation. So I'm not sure uh, what the differences are. Um, oh, this is the collector's edition. The other one wasn't collector's edition. Oops, I, to it. Um, I kind of looked at a couple of the discs. They did look. Um, oh, I'm just noticing there's two on this one. Cool. This one is the Crash Crash Two. Cortex or Gore-Tex Strikes Back. Um, probably a decent one as well because I know all of these crash ones are. But I looked at a couple of discs. They're kind of scratched up. I do have a disc repair. I also have a, um, a PlayStation 1 that I can test them on, which I will test um, to make sure that they boot up okay and everything. Um, I'll probably test them before repairing them, and then if there's issues, I'll repair them and try them again. But they've got enough value to spend the time to actually test them and be able to say that they're tested. Another crack, uh, looks like this was the original crash. There's no number on it. Like I said, I'm no expert on these crash games. I just know that they have good value. Um, crash Team Racing. Uh, let's see, here's a PlayStation 2. Um, well, I was going to scan it, and I don't have my phone with me. I don't know what I did with my phone. Uh, Ape Escape 2. But like I said, all of these had, were at least $15 used, and some of them were upwards of $30, $40, or close to $50. Um, here is another crash. Um, what he did here was, the, I've got the booklets. So 
It's got the booklets, but he put it into a different case. Um, the CD is inside. So the PlayStation 1 games, I think, are really starting to go up in value as they're getting harder and harder for people to find in playable condition. Um, so I kind of keep an eye out for those. Here's a Mortal 4 Combat. Uh, PlayStation 2 Greatest Hits, SpongeBob SquarePants. It's so funny, I was talking to a friend yesterday about this show. I absolutely hate it, and I can't believe parents let their kids watch it. But anyway, there's a video game for it. Uh, Xbox 360, a few of these. This is World of Tanks. Uh, Bolt. Mega Mind Ultimate Showdown. So anyway, that, that'll be a good score. Forty bucks for all of the games, and um, you know I'll get my money back. You know, in just one or two of the really good ones, and then the rest is all profit. And then there's another stack. You know, with maybe thirty-five of the game or uh, twenty-five of the games that really weren't good, worth selling individually, and I'll. Um, Lock them up into the, the type, whether you know, PlayStation 2 or, or whatever, and uh, lock them up and sell them on, on uh, eBay. So that was a good sale. Finding the Wally -E and all those video games, that was uh, that was a really good sale. Let's see, picked up a, I always look for these Hallmark Hall of Fame DVDs. I always prefer them to be new, which this one was. It was only a buck. A Dog Named Christmas. So Hallmark Hall of Fame, and it's a Christmas theme, which many of the Christmas theme movies can do well, and there's a dog in it, so can't go wrong for a dollar. I've already scanned it. It's like 18 and a half bucks on Amazon. I actually thought it'd be a little bit more than that, and it may go up as we get closer to Christmas. We'll see, but I'll, I'll spend about to make uh, 18 and what, probably, what, 15 after uh, fees, 14 after fees. Uh, then the other big thing, I picked up another huge lot. If you watch my previous videos, you know, um, back a little bit ago, I uh, picked up a huge lot of CDs. Did okay on them. Um, it was a lot of um, instrumental, um, uh, throwing a blank on, on what types they were, but did okay on them. A lot of them got sent in to de declutter. Um, and then some of them uh, were good enough to sell, and I've got them, some of them on eBay, some of them on Amazon, some got sent in FBA, and some are merchant fulfilled on Amazon. Well, another big score of CDs. Um, I kind of counted up, and I, it's probably like four or 500 CDs I got for $25. You can pick up that many CDs for $25. You're not gonna, you're not gonna go wrong. Um, it takes a bit of work. I sit there while I'm watching TV and, and scan them all, and the ones that aren't worth selling, I send into declutter and get anywhere from three cents to a buck for them, um, usually five to 25 cents. And I just sit and scan them as I'm watching TV, put them in the box, ship them off to declutter, and they deposit the money right into my PayPal account. But I, I scan just a handful. Usually when I get something like that, I like to um, find out real quick that I'm going to get my money back, and these two CDs will get my money back. So these two will uh, get my 25 bucks back, and the other 498 CDs um, uh, will be profit. So one of these is a Pottery Barn, the best of Christmas trilogy. I like finding these kind of sets, and anything with Pottery Barn. Uh, it, people want the Pottery Barn stuff, and uh, I think this was scanning in at around uh, 20, 25 bucks used. So. And then this one is a, it, this one's never been opened. It's a Cirque de Soleil. And that one scanned up is like about 15 bucks, I think, new. So that was a good haul. Um, got a lot to go through with the, uh, the, the CDs. Um, but, uh, I'll, I'll do okay on them. For 25 bucks, I wasn't going to say no. Plus, I got my exercise hauling it all out to my car, so I don't have to go to the gym now. <laughs> like I go to the gym. Uh, I also picked up a couple of hats. These, uh, were, they appear to be never worn. One's just a GE. Here's some GE employee out there want that. It's a adjustable strap uh, brand Caddy Headwear Supreme. Um, so I'll grab that for a buck. And then this white socks. It's kind of special cap. I really like this one because it's kind of got that railroad pinstriping going on. 
Um, it's a uh, new era, genuine merchandise, a size seven and a three eighths size head. It's that, that brand 50, 5950. So for a buck, and it didn't look like it ever been worn, um, and with the railroad pinstripes and white and the white socks, somebody will want that. So if I can get, you know, it's anywhere between 10, 20 bucks for each of those hats, a buck each. Let's see, another uh, CD player. Um, I haven't actually looked this one up yet. I was having a hard time finding a model number on it, but it was only a dollar. I grabbed it. I love the CD players. It's my bread and butter. Uh, these games, they actually have new ones out now, um, new models, but this one is from 1978. So it's one of the original ones. It's the baseball. They also have it in football and basketball. Uh, 50 cents. I haven't tested it, um, but they were selling. Um, I didn't really know which ones were working and which ones weren't, but they were going anywhere from 10 to 25 bucks, I think, depending on condition. If you had the box, I don't have the box. But uh, for 50 cents, I pick up stuff like that all the time. Uh, let's see here. Picked up this game. I wasn't so sure about it. Some of these electronic chess games can do well. I had a hunch that this one probably it seemed a little bit cheesy. Um, she had it marked for five, and I kind of hemmed and hawed, and she made a comment about um, make an offer on anything. I don't want to bring this stuff back in, so I offered her two, and she took it. I haven't even opened it up. I mean, it feels like stuff is all in there, but I have to open it up, make sure it's all there. And um, I think when I looked it up on eBay, there is an eBay and Amazon, so I'll have to research a little bit, decide which I'll sell it on. Of course, it'll depend on whether it's complete or not. If it's complete, it looks like maybe like 20, 25 bucks. And then there was this cell that I picked up quite a bit of stuff. They finally handed me a box to put all my stuff in that I was collecting. And I got everything here for, um, bundled it up. She brought the price down. She said 32. I said, making an even 30. She said, yeah. I think it was added all up to $38. So, um, these things, some, uh, it's local Denver radio station, KOA. They, I guess, put out this game thing back in 1984 is when they're from. Two bags of official Denver Broncos memory series. So they were some sort of, con, uh, like, scratch tickets or something. That all got pictures of old Denver Broncos. They were a buck a bag, so I kind of put them into my, my lot. I have no idea what they'll go for. Or if they'll go. Probably some Bronco fan out there that'll want it. Um, let's see, a surveying manual from 1915. Kind of got this because my um, back, school background, I got my degree in uh, geology, geophysics. Um, so we, I did a lot of the surveying for the geology and everything. So that kind of grabbed my attention when I saw it. It's from 1915. Um, it's a cool little book. It was, it was, they had it marked for two bucks. I actually found similar comps on eBay. It looks like I'll get somewhere between 10 and 20 bucks for it. So, but I thought it was kind of cool for me to flip through, look through myself and, uh, get a little $2 worth of enjoyment out of myself and then I'll sell it. And if I can get 10 bucks for it, I'll be happy. These, uh, weren't so good. I was hoping they'd be worth more. They apparently aren't worth that much. They had them marked at three bucks a piece. And it's the Pillsbury Do Boat. Let me try that again. Pillsbury Dough Boy. And his wife, I guess, or I guess it's his wife. I don't even really know. They're, they're squishy, um, the plastic. Uh, I looked them up, and the comps were a little bit all over the place, um, you know, like uh, at three bucks a piece. So probably with the bundling, five bucks for the pair, and maybe I can get 15 for them. So, you know, I, I really thought that they would be better when I grabbed them. I thought, oh, those are cool. But um, we'll see. How they go? They were selling, so I know. I'll, I'll get my money. So this I grabbed. It's a uh, Canon camera. Didn't look like you know a super high end one. It's the uh, PowerShot SD 890 IS. I mainly got it. They had it marked at four bucks. I mainly got it because it had the charger in it. And I buy a lot of cameras. I get them on the Goodwill auction site, like garage sales and stuff. But oftentimes you don't get 
the charger with it, and I needed to buy a charger. So for four bucks, I was willing to buy the bag just for the charger, even if the camera ended up being trash. So at least I have a charger that I don't have to go on eBay and buy when I get another camera. So in fact, I had to do that recently for Canon, and this may have actually been the one that I was looking for. But um, So I grabbed it, if for no other reason than for the charger. Uh, but I did look up the camera, and it's actually a decent one. It's about 35 bucks used. Um, I haven't tested it yet to see if it works, but it's got um, it's got the the cord, it's got a battery in it, and it's got a uh, memory card in it as well. Usually they don't have the memory cards, but it's got a memory card in it. So I will check to see if there's anything on the memory card, wipe it, and um, and then I'll have a memory card to go with the camera. So that ended up not being bad at all for four bucks. <coughs> Also, let's see, you got this vintage leather cigar case. Um, it's not marked as any maker. They had, they were selling, it had it price tagged at four bucks. Um, it had a you know, nice uh, stitching or design on it. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Um, comps are really all over the place with this. Um, obviously, if there were was a, a name on it somewhere, you know, maker, it, that would help. But... Um, uh, hopefully I can pull out 15, 20 bucks for that. One of my favorite things, my crew cassette recorder. I sell these all the time. And uh, this one, I have to do a bit more research on it. Actually, I'm kind of looking. It looks like they have some issues here. Uh, I don't know if the window broke and they repaired it or what, but there's some sort of glue or something on that. But I threw it into my box. I had it marked at two bucks. Um, I love finding the micro cassette recorders. I have a stack of the uh, the cassettes, so I always um, send when I sell one. I send along a couple of the cassettes to go with it. So um, I prefer Sony. Sony's my favorite. And I know uh, Cincinnati Picker. He just picked up a Sony one. I saw in, uh, his recent video. Um, this is an Iowa A I W A. So I prefer the Sony, but I'll take any one I can find. And you can always sell them for at least ten bucks on eBay if there's not a listing on Amazon. I try to sell them on Amazon. And I have been finding these almost every week. I'm finding one of the versions of this. Found another E-Trex. Uh, this doesn't have any of the, any cords or the instruction manual or anything, but they had it marked at $10. Bucks, um, so a little bit less than that with my bundling. But I also know I can get at least 30 bucks for this on eBay. I prefer to sell them on Amazon because I can get more. But since I don't have anything to go with it, I'll probably just put it on eBay. Um, I haven't tested it yet, but the battery, battery compartment, if I can speak, is nice and clean. So uh, I haven't had one that hasn't worked yet. Um, so I love finding these things. And I will even, I will even pay 10 bucks for them just because I do know what they go for. And I think I paid 10 bucks for one at a pawn shop one time. So although that one came with a little case and stuff. Picked up two scissors and starting to look at scissors because I know one video that I watched for somebody they mentioned when you go in you know to estate sales and um, you know there's usually an office set up somewhere with office supplies they say take a look at the scissors they've got if they've got any sort of the older scissors some of them can be valuable so they had two pairs of scissors marked at a buck each this set this is really cool it's um, ever sharp is the brand. But then it's marked on it, Chicago Mail Order Company. If you can see that. Oh, let's see. Eh, I don't know if you can see it or not. My little image of what I'm seeing is um, kind of small. But it says right, right there on it, Chicago Mail Order Company. It's got this real nice engraved design in the handle. I haven't researched this yet. i got to believe I can get something for that. I paid a buck. I would think I could get 20 bucks for it uh, with the with the, the name, the Met Chicago Mail Order Company on it. That should help it. And then the nice engraved design and the handle. So we'll see uh, once I research it. And the other pair is a pair, I believe these are hair, vintage hair cutting scissors. Um, it's got, their, they're all metal, stainless steel. Uh, it's got that little uh, hook, hook on it that uh, hair cutting scissors have. And they are marked... I looked up, I couldn't find one on eBay, I couldn't find this name. It, I believe it says Kokens, K-O-K-E-N-S. Then there's a picture of a crown, and then underneath it says crown. So probably not going to be able to see that. 
Let's see, I don't know how close I can get and still have it focus. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, I'll have to do a bit more research on them. Probably not worth a whole heck of a lot. There's some more writing on the other side as well. It's somewhat rubbed out. Something Supply Company in St. Louis, Missouri. So anyway, kind of cool, old scissors. And let's see, is this the last thing I have? The last thing isn't for resale, I'm actually keeping it, but um, Philips Sonicare E-Series toothbrush heads. It's the exact one I use. And these suckers are expensive. If I wanted to resell this box, it is new, it's never been opened. I scanned it, I think it's going for about 25 bucks on eBay. It's two brush heads inside the pack. But I'm not gonna sell it, I'm gonna keep it because uh, if I sell it, then I end up having to go out and buy it. It's funny because I just bought a big pack at um, Costco. So now I'm really stocked up. I've got the pack from Costco and two more, but still, I'm not going to send them in since I'll use those. It's not like they're it's food and will go bad. Uh, so I think, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today. Um, it was pretty good. It, it's hot this weekend. We're hitting the 90s for the first time this season here in the Denver area. Oh, and if, if you're watching, it was so funny. I was at a sale today, and somebody came up to me and said my name. Didn't recognize him, asked me, uh, how, how do you know my name or how do you know me? I forget what I said. And he says, on YouTube, I've seen you on YouTube. So uh, anyway, if you're out there, you shot off so quickly, I didn't even get a chance to ask you your name, but thanks for coming up and saying hello. That was pretty awesome. Um, last thing I would have expected that somebody around here would actually uh, be watching my videos and then actually run into me at a garage sale. So that was very cool. Thanks for coming up and say hello. Um, if you're seeing this, uh, go ahead and make a note or a comment and let me know who you were. And uh, how did you do today? Um, obviously, you were out hitting that neighborhood sale, so I'd uh, love to hear how you did. So anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And I try to get back each week with at least one haul video. I'll probably be back again tomorrow with another. Tomorrow I'm hitting a, uh, there's a church that opens up their parking lot to uh, people that want to rent a parking lot space and so basically ends up being like a, a a little mini flea market type thing so it's not the church that's selling stuff they're making their money by renting out the spaces so it'll be a lot of people basically like a little flea market so that'll be good that'll be the first thing i hit tomorrow and um and then i'll hit garage sales around that area and um so that'll be tomorrow and if i and my cat's getting ready to jump up on the computer um if I come home with enough, do another haul video. I will do another one tomorrow. And uh, and I should be getting a sales results video out um, this week. There was one item that I've already sold that I picked up on Wednesday. I went to an estate sale on Wednesday. And I'm sorry I can't show all that stuff because I already listed it and it's already put away down in the inventory. But it was funny because I came home, listed the stuff. One of the items I got was a vintage Cambridge Bible. Um, from 1967, I believe it was. That was the date that, from the inscription of the wife giving the Bible to her husband. And I uh, did some research on it, found out on eBay the columns looked like I could get about 50 bucks. I decided, because I'm trying to um, get my Etsy store built up a, a bit more, um, so I'm trying to remember anything that can go in Etsy, so vintage or crafty stuff I'm putting up on Etsy. So I decided to try the Bible um, on Etsy. And um, I listed it, and within a couple hours, somebody had messaged me asking a couple of specific questions about it, a font type on a particular page or something. So I sent him pictures of what he was looking for, and within uh, five minutes of sending that, he bought the Bible. Now, I put it, because Etsy, you can usually command a little bit more money um, than you can on eBay, so I put it up for $70 plus the shipping, and it sold at that. So in less than 12 hours, I already had back not only my money back from the estate sale, but good profit for the sale. And I have even, you know, all the rest of the stuff still has to sell. So I was going to keep an eye out for the Bibles. Um, I love finding the large print are very popular now. Uh, leather bound. I always look for the leather bound, make sure, you know, the leather is in good condition. Um, I look for uh, vintage or antique ones. Um, if they end up not being good enough to sell by themselves, I put a lot together, which I, I've got enough now to put a lot up. You can usually sell them at a lot for, you know, 25 bucks or something. And, uh, but the large print, the study Bibles, Schofield study Bibles, I love to find. Um, but there's a lot of different types of study Bibles. Um, so kind of keep an eye out for them, see if there's anything special about them, like the large print or, um, you know, and, and everything. And, 
keep it out for those. You can usually find them at the state sales. Um, you know, for a buck or two, I paid two bucks for that one that I uh, just sold. So that was $2 uh, into 70 um, in less than 12 hours. So that was pretty cool. I was very happy about that. So anyway, thanks again. I kind of rambled on. Sorry about that. So uh, I will be back again soon with another video if I have enough tomorrow. And otherwise, it'll be a whole video during the week. Hope uh, everyone's having a good weekend, get some good stuff, and uh, leave comments, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.